cast in this movie that's gonna come out here pretty soon called Furry Vengeance. <laughs> the name of the movie is Furry Vengeance. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. It makes too much sense. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I did not have to audition for it. I just got an email from this casting director. Like, I have this little tiny part in this Brendan Fraser movie called Furry Vengeance. Uh, do you want it? And I was like, sure. And I didn't know what it was about. I just agreed to it. And what I immediately thought was like, oh, it's going to be like some weird kind of like death to smoochy dark comedy about like furries. The people that dress up in like basically essentially mascot uniforms. One of the things that the guys in the flaming lips wear and just kind of like fuck each other. And I was like, fine, sweet, whatever. Yay, awesome. Movie, awesome. Uh, and so I took it. What it's actually about is it's this kids movie that's coming out in a month or two uh, that basically it's about Brendan Fraser is a dad and his wife is Brooke Shields and Brendan Fraser is like a, this developer, this housing developer who is gonna raise this forest and build a new housing development and all of the animals that live in the forest find this out and get really mad at him and they slowly drive him insane. Um, and the, here's the thing. I was like, oh, okay, talking animal movie. Maybe I'll be playing like an animal or something like that or in the voice. Uh, and then I looked at it and all of the animals don't actually talk. They just sort of like torture Brendan Fraser and then like look up and wink and smile and uh, scream. And go uh, when you get home tonight, watch, watch, the watch the trailer. It is the fucking cheapest thing. It would have been better if they would have taken taxidermied animals and held them up. Like, oh shit. Literally, like, they don't move. Oh shit. It's, it's worse than the it's, it's not an entirely animated movie. It's a live action movie with CGI elements, which are the winking animals. <laughs> but sometimes they're puppets. Winks, winking, winking, yeah. yeah. But sometimes they're puppets, and they're worse than the yeah. gopher in, in Candy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they're dancing and shit. Which, which makes sense, because when I was on the set, the director, whose other film that he had done was College Road Trip with Martin Lawrence in the latter period Raven Simone, um, was this, uh, was this movie, and he was like, the, the, the special effects guys who were on set and going to be doing like CGI animals after the after the movie was getting done shot, were like trying to tell him like, hey, so um, uh, Mr. Director, when this shot is done, here's where we're going to put the raccoon, he's going to run in and wink and run off. And before they were done speaking, the director's went, yeah, 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 and walked away. Uh, Avatar, this was not. Um, <laughs> Um, but basically I read the script and although I was not going to be playing a actual animal, I was going to be playing a college kid in a bear costume who was going to be like a bear mascot suit who was going to be on his way to a concert that was being held in, in, at the film's climax in this like housing development. And I was going to the concert and I'm walking there and Brendan Fraser is in like the midst of his breakdown. It's like the middle of the movie and the animals are driving him crazy, Amadeus style. And he has just fallen out of a porta potty and I bump into him in the bear costume, he turns around, thinks I'm a real bear, and without saying anything, punches me in the face. Um, and then I take off the bear head, and I'm all mad at him because I'm actually a person, not a bear. Now, at the time, you might be thinking, like, I, while I was reading it, I was like, there's no way anyone would think that a guy in a bear costume was an actual bear. But in the world, in this movie, all animals look like people in costumes, so it actually kind of makes sense because the special effects are shady. So when we were actually getting to shoot it, like on the actual, the day, I had not met Brendan Fraser yet, and we go to the set, and we're going to, it's this cul-de-sac, and we're gonna be like blocking the scene. And I go there, and I'm standing around with like the director, and everybody else is gonna be in the scene, and uh, Brendan Fraser comes out, and he's in what his costume is gonna be for the scene, which is uh, tidy whities and a white, uh, like, Hanes t-shirt. And as we discussed, he's got, like, you know, like the pregnancy thing going on. Um, and he comes out, and the first thing he does without saying hi to anyone is turn around and take down his underwear and just be like, huh? Huh? <laughs> to everyone. Day 22 of the shoot, no one reacted as though, hey, legitimate celebrity, legitimate star taking down their pants and showing their ass. This is hilarious. What a free-spirited guy. Everyone reacted like, well, Sarah the Autistic Girl always climbs under the thing and pretends to be a cat. Let's not give her the satisfaction of a reaction. <laughs> Whether he's in tight 
you whiteys or not, because he thinks it's hilarious. So everyone's like, all right, you're done? Okay, cool, man, cool, uh, Mr. Frazier. All right, here we go. Um, and so then he takes up his pants and we start to um, block the scene. Now, uh, we're about to like do the, do the thing where like we're, because we're, basically what's gonna happen is he punches me, we start to like wrestle around and whatever. So we're gonna start to block like the wrestling thing. Brennan Frazier looks down at the ground immediately after pulling his pants up and goes, looks at the asphalt and he's like, oh, oh man, can we like do this like on the sidewalk or the grass or something? Because I'm just looking at this pavement and I'm like, I just know there's gonna be abrasions. And like, with the word abrasions, like the weight and pain of a thousand like mummy induced, you know, yeah. injuries came out. Like he's so clearly used to like doing stunts and like, Brendan, just run through the sand, who cares, whatever. It's you know, like an animal being put through his paces, it was so sad. He's also probably heard of a million stuntmen like, coax him into it like, oh yeah, there's a few abrasions. Yeah. <laughs> Say. Right, right. It was yeah. very clearly like something where he was like, oh, really? Oh, okay. This sounds like it's gonna be a My pimp told me that they weren't gonna be allowed to like actually come on me in this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and everything I'm saying in the story, everything I, I want to say in the story is like sort of kind of couched in the thing of like celebrities really weird and sad. And I'm, I'm really coming to start sort of, uh, as being on like the very, 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 very outskirts of it and being able to look in and glimpse it, it's really, really fucking weird. And he just kind of seems like a guy who was like really nice, but has slowly been driven crazy. And it's kind of like, I could keep doing like gods and monsters stuff. I'm a really good actor. I could just do legit pictures. I did a movie that there was a sort of non-sequel side franchise movie of, and it starred The Rock. So it's like me or The Rock, you know what I mean? I can, I can see his pain, but uh, he, he's just clearly a weird dude. So he looks at me like there's gonna be abrasions. And everyone's like, yeah, w whatever, it's fine, Brendan. It's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Um, and then we continue blocking the scene. And what happens, and the, the first thing, so I actually put on the bear costume, because I have the bear costume on at this point. I put the head on, and we go to start like blocking it. So I walk up to him like I'm going to in the scene. I tap him on the shoulder like I'm going to in the scene. He spins around, and like he's going to in the scene, he punches me dead in the face. <laughs> For real.